Hello, this is Jay Poole again. Uh, so we've been over document scan settings. Uh, we've been over the selecting the, the creating of your outputs. Um, so now I'm going to talk about shortcuts. So this is something you do all the time, setting up shortcuts. Um, it's also how we set up shortcut keys in the front of the scanner through the button interface. So there's a little arrow over here that will show us there's always one by default that's created. Um, I'll just go ahead and delete that one. So we don't have any shortcuts. I could start from fresh and do a shortcut here, but a little, quote, little shortcut, <laughs> shortcut, but a shortcut, is I can select my scan setting. So let's say I want to do black and white and scan to that folder. And then right here, I have this saved shortcut. And it takes those two settings and makes a shortcut out of it. So then I can go into the little pencil. And there's those document scan settings I have. Here's all the settings already set up for, um, that's set up for document scans. And then I have some options here. So I can enable edit after scan. So if I feel like I need to delete pages and do th different things like that, um, I can also enable additional scan. So that way, if I uh, want to add pages at the end of it, I can. And then I can give it a job assignment um, based on how many buttons. Different scanners will have different amount of buttons. Uh, the 225 only has one button, but this one has nine. So I can select job number one. Um, and then I'll show you what this means in a second. Uh, and then general is just the name. So call this black and white to desktop. Some scanners this will actually show in the front of the screen. Others you'll just see a number. So it just depends. So sometimes this name matters, sometimes it doesn't. Um, one note, if you're going to uh, make it to where you just want to hit the button, it scans and a window doesn't pop up, you'll want to make sure to turn these two off. Because um, if you don't, then a window will ask you, do you want an additional scan, do you want to edit? So if you turn those off, then I'll show you a setting in a second you can do where it actually, the windows don't have to come up at all. You'll hit a button and it'll go straight to a folder. But for now, we'll leave those on and close. So now I've got it, see button number one, black and white to desktop. I can do the same thing for an email. So I can click black and white email, change it. Make sure I go into my options, give it a button number, change the name. Close that. And I can keep creating as many as I want to of these jobs. Um, one neat advantage of this software is let's say I need to save something to a file. I need to send that same document in an email to a buyer or something like that. And I also need to print a copy in the back to give to shipping and receiving. Um, I can actually highlight the scan setting I want. I can hold control and I can click multiple things. So notice I've got these three selected and then I can hit save to shortcut. Now you see we've created with these three outputs. So when I go in here now, you're going to see these three different outputs here uh, and they're all set up just like the way you've already set them up. Uh, one difference here is you can change the order. So maybe I want it to, maybe I want it to print first. So it prints first, then it saves the folder, and then it brings up the email. Same thing, I can pick which um, button I want. Uh, and then I can also uh, turn on, you know, if I want to allow, and I can call this. You know, however naming scheme you want to do. But now I've got that built out. When I have. So if I went to the scanner, hit my fourth job button, it's going to print that document, save it to a file folder, and email it off. So that's some of the neat things you can do with shortcuts uh, with Capture on Touch.